This is Love Life Horoscope Tarot Reading for Aquarius for the month of November 2021. Before we continue, I just want to mention that blue pulsing light behind me. It's a kinetic device that they use on ghost hunting shows to communicate with spirits. So if it goes green, that means that the spirit agrees with what I'm saying. If it goes red, then it means it disagrees with what I'm saying. All right, let's get to it. What do we got going on for you in the month of November? Ooh, Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. There's definitely a communication coming your way. This could be a love offer. Very mature energy, very thought out. It's like someone has a lot to say to you. Someone has put a lot of thought into this communication. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords energy. Oh, for them, submission want to come out. For you, yearning. You've been wanting to hear from this person. Someone has really put some time and effort into thinking about what they're going to say to you. They may be hiding behind some sort of logic, but their true emotions are romantic. Hmm. Let's get to the random love generated questions and see what they have to say. First question, what's going on in your love interest head? Like what's on their mind? It's funny that thing's not beeping. It was going off earlier. Uh, what's going on in your love interest head? <laughs> what's on their mind? Ooh, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. This is someone that may not have been giving you the, the right attention, not giving you enough attention in the past. That there's something that they're seeing of a synchronicity with you, with this 11-11 card, the Four of Wands. Something that they want. They want, it's like they, they see this future, this ability to, to make money with you somehow. Ten of Pentacles. They want to have an investment here. But they know that they haven't really given you enough attention. It's almost like they, they left you out in the cold here. Let's... Clarify this Five of Pentacles. For them, altruism. For you, vagueness. Yeah, so this person wants to start something good with you, but you probably don't even realize it. There may be an element here. Ha! Uh -huh. I was just about to say. There may be an element here, but it seems like there is an element here where they had to leave you in the cold because it was for the better good of you. But there's, there's a reconciliation. There, there's a coming together here with the Four of Wands. Something to celebrate. Hmm. What are your love interest current feelings towards you as you're watching this? The Tower, the Empress, and the Two of Swords. There is a bit of confusion. They don't really know what, what path to take. There's something coming down around them, something that, that's crashing down, something that doesn't work for them anymore in their life. This could be inconsistent people on their end, but it's like they're, they're finding out something, something isn't good for them. And right now, like their current feelings towards you, 
they don't really know how to approach you at this time. They're, they're kind of going with the flow of things, with this Empress energy. It's, it's the Empress with the two of swords. They're not really fighting the current. They just don't know. They don't really know what path to take. They're at a crossroads, but there's going to be a synchronicity here. So whatever they're looking for in terms of this connection, they're going to be seeing it. Hmm. In their head, they may already be seeing this. But with their emotions, it's... They're dealing with something bad in their environment. Something that they need to let go of. So their, their emotions are... They're, they're not really well balanced with the Two of Swords. There's a bit of confusion. Let's clarify this, this tower. What's going on with them? For them? Vigor. For you? Sincerity. They may be dealing with a snake in their midst. I noticed that snake right there. Some sort of connection that they're in. It wasn't a connection. It, this may be just something to do with their life. The red light just went off. So it's not a connection, but it's something that wasn't playing out for them the way that they wanted. They were putting a lot of work, but it, it's kind of like whatever they did, they were blocked, right? So now they're, they're feeling like they need to start going with the flow of their destiny, not fighting it. There's sincerity here in their feelings, but still confusion. What does the universe require from you before this love interest is allowed into your life? Six of Wands. Knight of Swords. Justice. You are on a winning horse here. It's like you're entering into this part of your life, like, like you're upgrading your life somehow. Something that was very well deserved and it's coming to you very quickly. This, this is about embracing. This could be some good karma or this could be a karmic contract, but it's, this is about you Proving yourself, in a sense. Embracing this new life, whatever it is, this upgrade that you're, you're getting. Very quick, very urgent, but this is about proving yourself. You're going to get justice. Let's clarify this justice energy. Actually, let's clarify this Knight of Swords for them. Helpfulness for you. Merits. This is about you proving your worth here. Something to do with them helping you. So whatever path you're on, you're on the right path here. This is something that's meant for you. It's sort of like you're going through an upgrade. It's happening very fast, but it's this energy where you're you're proving yourself. You're proving your worth. And this person sees their place in that somehow. They see how they can help you with, with whatever this is. Merits. This could be a, a contract you have with this person or some sort of agreement. But it's about embracing this higher level of achievement. You're getting some sort of recognition for something here. What initiative will this love interest take towards you? Eight of Pentacles. The Devil. Whoa. And the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords with the Devil. They're going to be working on something, but it's... 
It's almost coming across as sneaky. Perhaps they don't really want you to know. Let's clarify this devil energy. For them, truth. For you, glory. So there is something here that they want to work on with you. But I'm getting a sense because you are in this aspect of glory, you may you may be second guessing that their their interests, right? Because you are on a winning horse and this person does want to work with you, but you may you may see that as you winning and them wanting something from you because there's something to be had. Your glory may may actually may you may your glory, your your ability to be a winner at this time may impact the way you view this person. You may judge them harshly. You may judge their initiative harshly, but there is truth to whatever they're working on. It can also be very tempting for them to come towards you. Hmm. Interesting. In the extended, we'll look into <laughs> how should you handle this love interest in your next interaction? That is a good question. What surprises lay in store for you in the month of no November? What's the biggest factor that's benefiting this connection in the month of November? November is so hard for me to say. I don't know why. And we'll ask what's changing in this connection in the month of November. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.